Brenda Burns here right behind me in that blue dress, the uh, mother of baby Naomi, rejoicing with her legal team as well as her family and friends after Livingston County probate judge Miriam Cavanaugh rendered her decision. The court does find by preponderance of evidence that it is not in the child's best interest to terminate the respondent father's parental rights. A win this morning for 39-year-old Joshua Burns, a man who faced losing his parental rights to his baby Naomi following a criminal conviction that he abused the baby. But Burns maintains his innocence, and so does his wife, along with family and friends. All very emotional as Judge Miriam Cavanaugh rendered her decision. I just sent this, this collective sigh of relief in the room, our supporters behind us, Josh next to me. I think we just, just a... Uh, um, feeling like something is positive happening in over a year and a half. Last January, a jury convicted the 39-year-old of abusing his then 11-week-old baby, Naomi. The dad faced up to three years in prison, but got only a year in jail. The judge noting the now 18-month-old has had no seizures and has fully healed from her injuries she sustained. In the end, respondent father's prognosis for treatment is good. He is amenable to services and willing to engage and complete them. He has demonstrated to this court by his own conduct that he can comply with court orders. Moreover, the court cannot overlook the efforts that respondent father has engaged in to date uh, prior to his incarceration. Um, he has exhibited more effort and commitment to parenting Naomi than many parents exhibit uh, to this court in years of services. I think just to hear the judge speak positively about our family is um, amazing. I, I, her belief that Josh is, is, you know, that Naomi would benefit from being with her dad is amazing. It's just what we wanted to hear. In hell, Nima Shafe, 7 Action News.